Welcome back for an, to a new isolation vlog. It's going on forever. Ugh. Today I'm going to clean up some my studio. Of course, that's always part of it. And I'll show you in a second this painting I did. I'm gonna put a little quickie in here somewhere so I can show you what I did. I'm just gonna take off the tape and you can watch me do that for a minute. And then my daughter's gonna come up and do some painting for her art class, so we'll see how that goes. the tape off already couldn't wait pretty neat isn't it but I still got some up back here and I must have put my hand here because I got a couple of spots but they sand off pretty easy so used this stuff it's called artworks it's actually really good it dries in 12 hours not four hours like the art version. I guess it depends on what you use it for. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I look super old. Well, I'm just putting the lines where your face is. Yeah. Just don't put too many. Just don't put too many. Um, you know. Eye lines. Yes. Okay. And the chin here too, it must be light here, so it looks, <laughs> looks like it's all yeah, the uh, old. We don't want old. Can you help me with the hair? Yeah. Uh, work on the eyes and stuff. I'm trying. You doing good? While my daughter was uh, drawing my portrait, I started a new project, an old wooden tray I'm sanding down and going to do a acrylic pour and resin painting on top of it. So I decided to put a base layer down of blue. It's the same one I used for the other resin painting. I have a list up here if you want, and you can go check it out later. I'll just give it a little base and get rid of some of that beige. I'm probably gonna put white around it. Okay, so I put a layer of blue paint on. I used the acrylic pour paint. This is one from Boring Masters is really nice because it's self-leveling. So you don't want to see a lot of flash marks. Add. Tape it and probably going to do white. Paint the whole thing white. So yeah, that's going to be an ocean painting. Exciting! Put this up to dry somewhere. Then I'm gonna find out another one. Well, I 
have to do all these little ones here. I'm gonna do some acrylic pouring on here. So it's gonna what I'm gonna do is just tape them up. Get them ready to go and I gotta paint on these lines. But that's gonna be in the other flock probably. So I decided to go outside before dinner to get rid of some weeds in my garden. It's a tiny little flower garden I have. And just doing some spring maintenance and it was a nice day before it started raining the next day. So get some fresh air. Okay, so there are the some of the latest paintings I did. Some of the pores. This is the latest one I did yesterday. Came really out really nice. Uh, there's some older ones I did, like this winter. I really love them too, the encaustic ones. And this is the first tree that I did, and this is the first resin painting I did, and there's the last figurative painting I did. So yeah, you go check all these video videos out, and you can see how they're all created. Okay, guys, that's the end of today. I hope you enjoyed having my daughter in my video for her school project. You can see in the background there some of my new paintings up there. That's the newest one. Should have been a clip in here. Yeah, enjoy your week. Make sure you stay safe and healthy. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't down there. Ring the little bell. Give it a like and leave a comment. And um, watch those other videos, that uh, the painting videos. Yeah, and... And here's my banner. I hung it up because I can't go to any markets right now, so I saw through that. Okay, so see you in the next one.